Hey everyone, I'm Mike Brooks. We are back in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with our good friend Chef Val from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. We've got some uh, vegetables here. What are we doing? We're sauteing this up or? Yeah, we're doing a little saute. These are some red onions that we already have going, so they soften up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I've already prepared um, some green beans, and you could do this with anything. I mean, this could be asparagus or broccoli, but since green beans are available at the farmer's right market right now, we thought this would be um, a good way to go. Since, since we've got those going a little bit, I do want to back up and say, so if you have a mess of green beans, I don't know if that is a term, but- Now you're talking my language. Yeah, a little Southern term. If you've got a mess <laughs> of green beans from your garden or the mm -hmm. farmer's market, you're just going to want to take those and you can definitely snap every snap. every one of them. Yep. I spent many summers snapping green beans yeah, in tiny Ben Loman, Arkansas. With yeah. my grandmother. Yeah. And so you can actually string those green beans sometimes. So you just pull the string mm -hmm. off of there. But then also if you're just wanting to use a knife, you can stack up a few at a time, cut both ends off, and then those are ready to go. Okay, so, so easy. super easy, yeah. And so if you wanted to also put these up, um, I say put up, put freeze them so you could blanch and shock. And on a couple of other segments we've done a blanch and shock, so that's to cook them briefly in some boiling water, shock them in cold water, they're bright green, dry them, put them in the freezer, and so they're gonna be just and they like stay fresh. Like that. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. so that's what we have here. And so these are gonna get sauteed a little bit. And again, remember that saute just means that that's a quick cook in mm -hmm. a little bit of fat. We're gonna add a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some red pepper to that. And so these are gonna be nice and tender crisp. So you might be used to having green beans from a can, which if you, they're kind of turned olive green, yep. they're a little yep. bit soft, yep. nothing wrong with that. You know, you're eating a vegetable better than a Twix bar, right? Of course. Okay. Well, relatively speaking. Okay, yeah. health, health wise, <laughs> health wise. Okay, so this is just a nice saute. We would probably let these green beans go a little bit longer. Um, if we had a little bit more time, mm -hmm. but this just some beautiful, fresh green beans, red bell pepper, red onion, very nice. Look at that, and how hot was your pan there? All the way hot. All the way? Yeah, so we had that up on high, mm -hmm. little bit of olive oil or okay. canola oil in the pan. I and make then sure we see this. the yep. last thing I wanted to mention too is that putting a little bit of vinegar to season is gonna be better than adding additional salt. So red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar is one of my favorites because oh, wow. it is a very an affordable. This one is a raspberry blush, so it's mm -hmm. a little fancier vinegar, but a really good seasoning in place of salt. And that is good. Definitely tender oh crisp, goodness. right? Yes, that's good. perfect. Good. We're gonna have this recipe and all of our other recipes on our website, so check it out. We're in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen. Go to kjrh.com for more information.